Hello everyone, Fed here, and welcome back to another how to build video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to build a quicksand, well, decoration I can There he goes. <laughs> Steve has fallen into the quicksand. But yes, today I'm going to be showing you how to build a working quicksand decoration. Now, if you guys don't like things like this, and you don't really care about the decorations, you don't have to use this as a decoration piece. You can also use this as a way to hide your armor stands. As you can see, he was fully out of there, guys. I found This thing is pretty amazing. It's pretty amazing on how it works. It looks so much better on the console. I did get it to work on PC but it does not look as good as it does on console. Once Steve pops out of that quicksand right there, because I do have it set up on a timer, so no matter what, he's just going to pop back up and then go back down the quicksand. But as you can see, he is fully out of there. That block did not move. That full block underneath the armor stand did not move. It looks fantastic on console. I'm really happy that I found this thing, but we're going to go ahead and quickly move over to creative so we can see how this whole thing works. But let's wait a little bit just to see him fall back into the quicksand because uh, I guess Steve didn't go to school and learn how to read. So <laughs> there he goes. He fell into the block and see nothing moved. Nothing moved. Only the armor stand moved. All right, guys. So here we are on my creative world. And as you can see, I have everything opened up here. Everything is completely opened up. All it is is a hopper timer hooked to this thing. And I'm really happy that I found this. I actually found this when I was doing my five decorations for torture and executions on Steve. <laughs> if you want to check that video out, I'll have a link to it in the description below. But it was a very, it's just going to be a long story and I don't feel like going through it right now. But the cool thing about Minecraft Xbox, as you can see, he looks like he's on that block. This armor stand looks like it's on this glass block right here, even though it is not. It's actually inside of the glass block. That cobblestone wall right down there is just making it look like it is. Now, that's why it looks so much better on the console. On PC, it will not look like this. I got it to work on PC, but the mechanics on PC change it up a lot. Now, for Pocket Edition people, no, it does not work on Pocket Edition because you don't have armor stands. I get people saying that sometimes when I do armor stand builds. Guys, you don't have armor stands yet. Once you have armor stands, I'm sure it will work, but you have to wait for them to update the game for you guys to have armor stands. So what I'm going to do now is go inside this hopper right here, and I'm going to add in these 64 dirt. And yes, these are, this is the resources you're going to need for this build. But if we go ahead and place this in, you'll see him fall into that glass block, even though he's fully above it. Even though he's fully above this block, once that drops down one block, he's going to fall through because technically he is not on it. There you go. See, that is, ugh, I'm so happy that I found this thing because it's so cool. Now, if you, like I said, if you don't want to do it as a quick stand decoration, you could just use it to hide your armor stands. This thing is so simple. Look how easy it is. All you need is just these two sticky pistons, these two slime blocks, and that cobblestone wall, and you can hide any armor stand that you want to hide. So let's go ahead and start building this thing, guys. It's a fairly simple build. I'll At the end, I'll make the PC changes. It's not going to look as good as it does on console, but let's go ahead and get this thing started. All right, guys, for this build, you're going to need a six by six spacing, and you're also going to have to dig down six. Now that red stained clay block is the exact spot in where that armor stand is going to be going, where it's going to be falling into the quicksand. Now, the resources you're going to need for this build are three sticky pistons, one piston, two hoppers, two redstone comparators, one redstone repeater, three redstone torches, one block of redstone, five redstone, two slime blocks, one armor stand, and a handful of dirt. Just get dirt, guys. It's the easiest thing to get your hands on. And we're also going to need one cobblestone wall. All right, guys. So once you have your six by six spacing, dug down your six and gathered up all your resources, we're going to count right over here to this red stained clay block. So come to the bottom left hand corner and count over four blocks. One two, three, four, and then count up one and place a sticky piston right here facing upwards. Next up, place this another, next up, place another sticky piston right above it facing upwards as well. Take out your slime blocks and place both slime blocks on top of those sticky pistons. You no longer need your slime block. Next up, take out your cobblestone wall and place it right on top of the slime block. Then right to the right, we're going to take out some blocks and place two blocks right up next to our sticky pistons like so. Place a redstone torch off the first one closest to the wall. And then place another one right next to that sticky piston like so. So the first one should be extending first. And then the second one in the back should be the second one extending up. Now, this should not be flush to your floor. As you can see, it's one block below your floor. Now, if you're on any different level right now, that means you dug down too far or you didn't dig down enough. Next up, we can't simply just place our armor stand right here or else it will just fall right into our cobblestone wall. And we can't have that happening. So to get our armor stand in, all we have to do is place a block right above it. Place in your armor stand and then just break the block and let your armor stand fall into place. And it'll kind of look like it's hovering right above that cobblestone wall. Now for my quick sand, I used end stone. You can't use normal sand because when it drops down, the sand's just going to drop down with the armor stand. You can put sand everywhere else and then just have the end stone block as your quick sand. But honestly, I think this looks more like quick sand than regular sand does anyway. So what we're going to have to do now is push an end stone block right above this cobblestone wall right here. So to do that, all we have to do is place the block right above our armor stand. So I'm pretty sure we have to come up at least four blocks to get it in. Let's see, one, two, three, and four. Yes, it has to be at least four blocks up to get in the block. And now we're going to have to push this block all the way down until it's right above that cobblestone wall. So we're going to break all these blocks here. Take out a piston and face a piston downwards into our end stone block. 
And like I said, we have to push this block all the way down into there. So push it, boop, like that. Then place in another end stone block or whatever you have and place in your block of redstone just to send power to it. And it looks like we have to do it just one more time. So place in another block, send power to it. And as you can see, it is right above the cobblestone wall right now. Next up, what we're going to do is break these two blocks and try not to break your armor stand. Try not to break your armor stand when you're breaking these blocks. So I highly recommend, you know, hitting it. If you're doing it on survival, hit it from the side or something like that. So you don't accidentally hit your armor stand. But as you can see, it looks like the armor stand is right on top of the block, but it is not. It is technically not on top of this block. It's actually inside of it. And that's why I find this thing so fascinating and awesome, just because the way it works. So if you want to test it out to make sure everything is working, all you have to do is just break this back redstone torch first, the one closest to the sticky piston attached to the slime block. So just break it boop, like that. As you can see, the armor stand fell down because it is technically not on top of that block. And then when we break the next one, it will fully go into the ground, making it look like he has fallen into quicksand. So now we can go ahead and just reactivate these replacing your redstone torch off the first one and then off the second one right here. Now, this is completely up to you. If you don't want to use this as quicksand and you just want to use it as a way to hide your armor stand, you know, you can change this block up to wood or something like that, whatever it is in your house, and you could just hide your armor stand. So, you know, let's quickly go ahead and do this. If you don't want to hide your armor stand and you're going to do the quicksand thing, you can either just watch this part. Don't do whatever I'm doing. I'm just going to show people how they quickly can hide this thing up. So let's go ahead and just remove these redstone torches right here just real fast. So boop, boop. And you know, let me go ahead and do this. <laughs> so all we have to do is just send power to one of these first. And that's pretty much it. That's how everything will work. So if now you might have to use an immovable object for this part. So I highly recommend just pulling out some obsidian or maybe a furnace. So just place up an obsidian block right here. Place a block down and place a piece of redstone right here. And next up, we're just going to take out a repeater and place a repeater coming out of that block of redstone. And let's just go ahead and just set it to two ticks delay. Then we'll place a block up in front of the repeater. And that's pretty much it. That should hide up everything. So let's go ahead and just take out a lever real quick. Test everything out. So place it right above that redstone. And boop. As you can see, our armor stand pops out of the ground. It's completely hidden. And then when we flip it up, the armor stand will go back down like nothing is there. Now, that's just for people that want to use it as maybe just a way to hide their armor stand. And don't want to use it for the quicksand function. So now all you have to do, you know, just bring any power to that redstone. And it will activate your hidden armor stand. But we're going to go ahead and put back in our redstone torches because this is basically for quicksand. <laughs> so we're just going to place our two blocks here. Boop and boop. And let's go ahead and make our hopper timer so this whole entire thing works. So to get started up on the hopper timer, we're going to come right back down here and place a block down here. And place three pieces of redstone right along those three blocks. Then come out one block here and place in a redstone comparator going into the redstone. And now we're going to have to set up two hoppers going into each other from the back of this comparator. So what I like to do is just place a block behind it. Take out your hoppers and place one hopper going into the side of the block. Break the block. Then we're going to go into crouch mode or sneak mode, whatever you like to call it. And place another hopper off the side of this hopper. So they're just funneling into each other. Next up, take out your blocks again. And then off the right-hand side of the hoppers, place another block in. With a comparator coming out of this hopper right here. Place a block up in front of your comparator. A block down with a piece of redstone right here. And then we're going to place in our sticky piston facing towards our hoppers. Next up, we're going to have to take out our redstone block and place our block of redstone right in front of our sticky piston. Then over here to the left hand side, we're going to place a block here. Place a repeater coming out of the redstone with a block in front of it. Next up, place a block down with a piece of redstone here and then take out your normal piston and place your regular piston facing off the side of that redstone right here. So it should be facing towards that redstone block just like that. Now, this part is really crucial. If you want to make it so it just infinitely goes forever, like I had it before, where it was just going up and down in the quicksand, all you have to do is just place a block right here to the side of this redstone and then place a redstone torch off the side of it like that. And that should make it go around in an infinite loop. However, if you want to set it up where it doesn't go in an infinite loop and you have to come over here and click a button, I'll sh you know, I'll just show that afterwards. So next up, what we're going to do is come into the hopper that has the redstone block right here. And we're going to place in all of our items. So we're going to take out our 64 dirt. I'm going to place it right inside this hopper. Now, this is also another thing. If you want to make it so he stays under the quicksand for a longer period of time, add more items to the hopper. The more items in the hopper, the longer it will take for him to pop back out and go back under. So we're going to place in all 64 right here, and it should start up right away. As you can see, items are already funneling over to this hopper. So anytime soon, that armor stand will fall down into that block, making it seem like he is falling into quicksand. So bloop. And there he goes. He has fallen into quicksand. And then once all the items have funneled over, he will fully submerge under the quicksand. So let's just wait to make sure everything is working. So boop, he has fully submerged into the quicksand. And now once the items start funneling back over to this one, it will reset everything. So as you can see, you'll see, boop, there it goes. And now he's going to start going back up. And then it'll just keep going on and on forever, guys. It's going to be completely infinite. So I'm going to go ahead and just 
All right, guys, so I'm gonna quickly go ahead now and show you if you wanna come over here and have to click a button for the quicksand to work and not have it on an infinite loop, all you have to do is just remove this redstone torch right here. Remove this redstone torch and it will no longer go on an infinite loop. So as you'll see, once this gets done funneling the items over to here, this piston will retract, but nothing will happen because it will no longer be on an infinite loop. As you see, boop, there it goes. It did not push the block back over, so it's no longer on its infinite loop because maybe you wanna just set it up where you have to come over here, click a button, say, hey, look, Steve's about to die from quicksand. Click a button, no, no, Steve's dying from quicksand. I don't know how you want to set this thing up, but now all you have to do is just send power to this piston because technically this sticky piston right here is butted. So once I add any block next to this thing, once I do anything to this piston right here, it's going to set everything off. So as you can see, boop, it will set it off because it is butted. So all you have to do is now just send power to this block and it will always work. So if we place a piece of redstone here, Let's place a block up right here with another piece of redstone. And let's say we want to just add in a button right here so we can activate it when we come over here instead of it just going on an infinite loop. So I'm going to quickly go ahead and just speed up the video and wait till it comes back up and stops. All right, guys, and I'm back. And as you can see, it did stop once again because it does not have that redstone torch there. So once I click this button right here, it will activate it. And then, of course, once it's done and comes back up, it will just deactivate it right away. So boop like that. And as you can see, it has started activating everything. All the items are starting to funnel back over. This is just for people that don't want it to be on an infinite loop maybe you just want to have it so when you walk up and click the button you can add it to something maybe you're making a museum and it's like oh this is what happens when you step in quicksand i don't know <laughs> i don't know what you're building in minecraft but i know a lot of people want it so it's not on an infinite loop they want it on an infinite loop they don't even want this they just want an armor stand piece to hide their armor stand i don't know what you guys are going to be doing this with I don't know what you're going to be doing with this thing. All I know is it, it's pretty amazing. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and break all this stuff. And I'm going to go ahead and just put it back on an infinite. Well, you know, I'm not going to put it back on an infinite loop. Now it's time to show you how it works on PC. Guys, you are completely done. If you built this on console, that's it. You're completely done. So all you have to do now is just hide up everything. You know, this could be your quicksand right here. And then if you want to add in sand around here, just make sure, you know, you add a few blocks right down here like this. So you can add in some sand, but you are completely done. All you have to do is just hide up the redstone if you are on console now for pc players you're gonna have to do it just a few little different things guys i'm sorry it's not gonna look as good on pc but it will 100 work on pc so for pc what you're gonna have to do is just dig down another row of blocks right here just dig down another row of blocks right next to these slime blocks right here and then what you're gonna do is we're gonna place us another slime block we're gonna need one more slime block for this part we're gonna place one more slime block like this and then we're gonna place up a block next to here not a wall we're gonna place in a normal block so let's go ahead and just use blue so Boop, like that. Now what you have to do is make sure your armor stand is in the middle of the cobblestone wall and in the middle of the block. Now this is for only PC players, guys. This is only PC players. Now technically my armor stand is inside this block right here. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and just break it real quickly. So boop, and I'm gonna have to place in my armor stand once again. So like I said, all you have to do is get this armor stand in the middle of this wall and this block right here. So what I like to do is just place in three blocks like this and like that, there we go. And then what I also like to do now is just take out a walling of choice. Really doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and just use a cobblestone wall. I'm going to go ahead and place in a piston right here. And we're just going to send power to this piston. So boop like that. And now it should be right in the middle of these two blocks. So now just go ahead and break this one right here. Break this block right here. And then just let it fall into place. As you can see, it still has that little height advantage right here. But on PC, when it descends, I mean, when it extends back up, it will fall into the cobblestone wall. And that's why it doesn't look as good as it does on console. So now we're going to have to do the exact same thing we did on console. We're just going to have to place blocks right above it like this. Place blocks right above it. And we're just going to have to push these blocks into place right above your armor stand. So just take out pistons. Boop, 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 and we're going to place two pistons facing downwards. So one here, one here. And then just send power to them. And like I said, we're going to have to keep sending power to them until we have the blocks right above the cobblestone wall and this block right here. So just keep placing them in. So there should be a total of three that you have to do. So one, that should be two. And then this one should be three. So boop, like that. And like I said, when you break the blocks, make sure you do not hit the armor stand because then you have to redo everything and that will just stink. Now we can go ahead and just turn it back on. So let's go ahead and quickly just place a redstone torch here. It's now on an infinite loop once again. So once this drops down, the armor stand should drop down because technically it is on top. It's not on top of these blocks. It's technically on top of that cobblestone wall. So boop, as you see, it fell down and it should be doing the exact same thing on PC. The only problem is it won't fully come out of the ground. Sorry about that, guys. It just does not work the same as it. It just doesn't work the same as it does on console. Now, all that's left to do is just dress up your armor stand like Steve. You could dress it up however you like. If you're doing this on PC and you have custom heads and things like that, then I also highly recommend doing some custom heads. And as you can see, it's not working so well. Uh, the PC version doesn't work so well on the console, but it kind of looks funny. It's kind of like popping out of the ground and going back down. I don't know why. But what I do for my Steve is I like to just use a leather tunic and dye it cyan. And then I like to take a lapis lazuli and dye my pants blue. 
and then i just dye my boots black like that and then of course put a steve head on top of it like so and there is my entire little steve guy right there and as you can see he's going down into the quicksand he's not having a very good day today so now all you have to do is like i said in the beginning now just like console version once you're done pc players all you have to do now is just hide up all the redstone so you know just go like this and hide up all that redstone and of course if you want to add in sand around here and not have this much quicksand all you have to do is just place a few blocks underneath it instead like this make sure you do not place any blocks next to your slime blocks unless it is obsidian or else it will attach to it and it will break your build so actually no it won't and no it won't the slime blocks don't go all the way to, to the top roof so you should be absolutely fine if you place blocks all around you do not place it here though do not place anything here if you want to you can place an obsidian block here but do not, do not place anything else here besides an obsidian block. So if you want to just change out any of this to sand, let's go ahead and just quickly do this. And now if I take out some sand blocks, I can now add in some sand around here instead of the uh, end stone. So there we go. Have some sand here. And now we have regular sand and we also have our quick sand right over here. And of course, you know, I could just add a few more in like this maybe make it look good i don't know if maybe building this right into a desert so you don't have to do all of this if you're building this into a build or something like that you're going to have to do this so and there we go that looks pretty good see you can see the quicksand right there and you can see the normal sand right there but there you guys have it that is how you build a working quicksand decoration i'm sorry that this video took so long but it's something new to minecraft guys and i just wanted to make sure you knew everything that you could possibly do with this you can make it uh, last longer you can make it so you can just activate it yourself you can also just turn it into just a simple you know hidden armor stand it's just something new to minecraft i want to make sure you guys knew exactly what you could possibly do with this thing but like always guys if you did enjoy the video make sure to leave it a like and subscribe to see two of my newest videos all right guys peace